So a few really common mistakes that I see when people are using food with their dogs is that they're lowering the value of the food accidentally by always making the dog work for it under really stressful conditions. Sometimes we just got to make sure that we place no conditions on access to food to actually increase the value. If it's always you have to do this to get access to food, then it demotivates the dog because a lot of the time people are asking them to do stuff they don't actually enjoy in order to gain access to food. Another common mistake that I see with the use of food is to only use it when the dog is doing something that you don't want them to do. So you think you might be reinforcing the dog for coming back to you because they're getting access to food from you, but if the condition is placed on the dog that they only get access to food when they stop doing the thing that they like, then they might start to think that there's no point in coming back to get food because actually they'd rather be carrying on doing what they've been doing in the first place. It is all well and good if you have a dog that is generally on the higher end of the scale for food motivation. But if you have a dog that's naturally a bit less food motivated, the last thing you want to do is place a bunch of conditions on them to get access to food. My suggestion would be to have some fun with it first, play some games with some food, get them really interested in just gaining access to food without too many distractions, not asking them to stop doing the things that they like in order to gain access to food. Just make food and you a lot of fun together.